But the thing is that when this planet Uranus is, is strong in a chart of a person, it means there can be something like a brilliance to that personality. You can have brilliant ideas, brilliant insights. But when this planet is too strong, it makes you detached from the ability to have human feelings. Uh-huh. So and, a lack of empathy. Sorry? A lack of empathy. A total lack of empathy. And so he has, this is very interesting, he has this incredible successful aspect on his sun-moon opposition, on his full moon constellation. And at the same time, there is a total detachment. That means his success is built on a lack of empathy. Mm -hmm. And there is also something in his early childhood that you can see in the chart that must have been on some level so painful that he decided rather not to feel in order to keep going and to protect himself. This is a very, very strong signature in his chart. Well, that's an interesting one. And I don't know whether, if I may interject, Alexander, if you, if you read Mary Trump's analysis, she's a psychologist, about yeah. Donald Trump. And she was talking about the influences of his father and his mother, his mother being sick and very much wrapped up with herself and his father being, you know, a steamroller and also not being very, very present. And he was sent off to academy school very early on. And I think that lack of potential parental love, especially in the early years, might have caused exactly what you're saying. Yeah, but the funny thing when you look at a birth chart is the chart is there before the experience is happening. Yeah, true, true. There you go. <laughs> so he was born with that constellation. And from that perspective, that's the fascinating thing about astrology. The question is, does, it's a question. Does your soul choose, chooses a certain environment that attracts the experiences that you need according to your birth chart, to the information that you can find in the birth chart.